robot race. Chapter 1 Fast and Slow Once there were two robots. The first robot was named Zippy, and he liked to do things as quickly as possible. Zippy said, Speedy, things like rockets and racing cars inspire me. They make me want to go faster. The second robot was named Rusty. She was slow like a rusty old bicycle. Rusty said, slow moving things like tortoise inspire me. They are leisurely, steady and careful. Zippy and Rush, Rusty worked together in a gadget factory, helping to manu manufacture gadgets. They both liked to make gadgets, but they had very different ways of working. Zippy was always working at a lightning speed. Showers of sparks flew from his body and clouds of steam whirled around his head. He was a fasted robot in the factory. And all the other robots admired his speed and enthusiasm. Well, not all the robots wanted to be like Zippy. No steam had ever whirled around rusty head, and no spark had ever flown off her body. But Rusty didn't mind at all. She liked herself the way she was. Zippy was always boasting and bragging about his battery pack, which was the latest and greatest in the ro robot world. As he worked, he listed the battery pack's superstitions. The batteries are so powerful that they could make a toy car race for 9,999 hours, he said. How fantastic, cried the other robots. We wish we had batteries like you. Rusty rolled her eyes. She had heard it all before, so she grabbed her stack box and went outside for a break. Rusty sat down on a lawn chair in the sunshine. She could see all the other robots looking at her, and she knew that they were feeling sorry for her. You see, Rod Rusty Battery Pack has its own unique specifications. It had solar panels. Rusty was the only solar-powered robot in the factory. Every day, at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 2 o'clock, Rusty had to stop work and sit in the sun. The other robots thought that Rusty must have felt terrible because she had to stop doing what robots like to do, work. But Rusty smiled as she relaxed in the sunshine. She couldn't have been happier. The other robots did not know what they were missing out on. Rusting rivets cried Zippy. How will we make enough gadgets today if Rusty reads and relax all the time? Just then, Rusty returned. Her solar panels were charged up and she was ready to work. What do you say? asked Rusty. I said that we won't make enough gadgets if you are always relaxing, said Zippy. But slow and steady wins the race, explained Rusty. Race? said Zippy. I don't believe you. You couldn't win a race. You are far too slow and you take too many breaks. Rusty looked at Zippy. She thought it was time that she educated him about other ways of getting a job done. We'll see about that, she said. I'm challenging you to race. The first robot to manufacture 9,999 gadgets is the winner. Zippy smiled so enthusiastically that sparks flew out of his mouth. I accept the challenge, he cried. Race or rest? The next day, Rusty and Zippy were already at their workbenches. The robot boss stood there and started to the race by counting three, two, one, go! Zippy was on top of things. He immediately, because his batteries powered him to maximum speed in 2 million seconds at the beginning. He made one gadget every 3 minutes. He improved his time 
with every gadget that he made and soon he was making one gadget every minute. He ached all over but he kept on racing. Rusty started the race very differently. First, she tidied her workbench, carefully arranging her tools and rows. Then, when everything was perfectly placed, she started making her first gadget. By then, she trailed Zippy by five minutes. Even an hour later, Rusty stopped. She put down her tools and lined up the gadgets she had created. She had made no effort building any more gadgets. Instead, she powered her down solar battery pack and went outside for a break. Rusty relaxed in her chair, enjoying the feeling of the warm sun of her solar panels. Then she was younger. She was always felt terrible about talking a break while her robot's friend kept working. But as the years went by, Rusty began to enjoy her time in the sun. She could read the latest Mighty Ma Machines magazine, study up on the most recent gadgets and gizmos, or just watch the butterflies flutter and flap slowly through the air. Charging up solar panels was a very slow process. Rusty was never impatient, though. She never rushed anything. Brilliant bolts, cried Dippy. I'll definitely win the race now. Look at slow old Rusty, still lazing lackadaisically in the sun. While Rusty rested, Zippy made hundreds of gadgets. He felt very satisfied with the race he was going. He was made 6,475 gadgets. That means he was ahead of Rusty by staggering up 2,468 gadgets. All the other robots cheered Zippy along. The robot power. Suddenly, Zippy felt that something was terribly wrong. His body was working slower and slower. Then it stopped altogether. Zippy couldn't move a finger, even a rivet. The robot boss opened up Zippy's control panels. Ah, he said. I know what the problem is. The faster you work, the quicker you use up your battery power. You have worked so fast that your battery has died out. This Zippy was devastated by the discovery, so his bot tried to make him feel better. I'll plug you in my charger, and your batteries can charge overnight. If Zippy couldn't have cried, he would have, but it took battery power to do that. At the moment, Rusty came back inside. She had soaked up lots of sunshine. Now her energy would release slowly so that she could keep working all night long. And she exactly what she did. She manufactured gadget after gadget after gadget, working slowly but steadily all night. That poor Zippy couldn't do was watch, watch and wait. But by morning, Rusty had completed 9,999 gadgets and had won the race. Zippy did not smile or clap or cheer. In fact, his batteries are still charging. These days, Zippy doesn't work so fast, but he knows he has to save his battery power. But now, he has plenty of time to concentrate on other things. As he makes his gadgets, he sometimes stops to share to stare out of the window. He watches the flowers slowly open their pretty petals and the snails slowly slide along. Zippy enjoys the slower things in life, but only when the other robots are not watching. Rusty learned something from Zippy as well. She discovered that you finish your task more quickly, then your breaks seem to come around faster too. From time to time, Rusty and Zippy still challenges each other to a race. Zippy has learned a lot and to go more slowly, but that his batteries don't die during the race, but Zippy can't help himself. He soon speeds up, so Rusty ends up winning, unless, of course, it is a cloudy day.